Hello guys, you're watching Mac Tutorial Films, I'm Mari, and today I'll be showing you how to do the lightsaber effect in Adobe After Effects. So, uh, let's go over here and import our file. And the file I'm going to be using is uh, the actual behind the scene footage uh, from Star Wars Episode 1. So I thought it was a good idea to use the actual footage they used. And, uh, you see there's one of the actors, I forgot his name, but, uh, He's one that plays Obi Wan Kenobi, and uh, so let's go over here and cut it down. So I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna do this part. All right, let's zoom in a little bit and let's get started. Now let's go over here to uh, Layer New, and we're gonna make a new solid. We're gonna make this solid white since the the middle of the lightsaber is white, and it's gonna be feathered out later. Let's make the comp size and hit OK. And we're going to go over here to get our pen tool and we're going to draw a polygon. Uh, just going to make five points. So there you go. Now it's a rectangular shape. And we're going to go over here to our mouse, just a regular cursor. And we're going to go follow wherever his, uh, wherever the bar goes, which he's using as a reference for the lightsaber. And if you can go down here to the eye, you can uh, click on that to see through it. So we'll get rid of the solid. And we can just go over here and drag each corner to the end of the bar. Alright, you can go over here back to the uh, pen tool, click and hold, and then select the convert vertex tool. So you can use the vertex to curve it out by selecting these corners and just dragging it. Let's go back. Alright, so I'm just going to go through fast so it's not going to be perfect, I'll tell you that. Alright, now what we want to do is animate it obviously because if we don't animate it, it's going to stay in the same spot as you can see. It's going to stay in the same spot. So what we have to do is go to the arrow that's on the solid clip and go under masks, mask one, and you'll see mask path and you'll see a little timer next to it. Click on the timer and it'll start uh, animating. So uh, you'll see a little diamond here which is your keyframe and uh, as we move on we're going to keep moving the uh, solid along with the light sta uh, stick he's using. and to move frame by frame, we're going to hold down command and the right key. If you're on a PC, it's control right. Alright, so then we're going to keep going until he moves. And bring the corners back. As you can see, it goes all the way here. Let's keep going on. Alright, so this is going to take a while, even though I'm going to go by really fast, so I'm not going to come out perfect. Uh, by the time it's done, I'll fast forward this video, and uh, by the time it's done, I'll show you how it looks like. Alright. Now we're done, and as you can see, it's not perfect because uh, I didn't really put that much effort into it, but it takes a lot of time when you want to put detail. And as you can see, it's following it, so it looks good so far. And let's go back and uh, click on the eyeball so we can see how it looks like. And you can see the white solid following it. Let's fix this little edge right there. Let's make it rounder. Alright, so, so far so good, even though it's not perfect, as you can see. Um, now we're going to feather it out to make the edges smooth for the solid, because the solid's not just completely uh, you know, edged out. It has to be softened a little bit, and then it'll feather out to make it glow. 
So what we're going to do is just delete the footage and we're going to duplicate this solid, uh, duplicate it uh, three times. So we're going to do is Command D or Control D on the PC and we're going to have four solids. So we're going to have the same white solid. And the reason why we're going to have four different ones is because every layer is going to have a different kind of feathering. So the first layer we're going to make, uh, we're going to go down to masks, mask one, and we're going to go to mask feathering. And we're just going to click on the uh, pixel, and we can type in two, and uh, it should soften out a little bit of the edge. If it didn't really soften out, then let's just make it five. Oh, five. Yeah. And uh, it should show up like that. And we should go to the second solid. We keep doing the same thing, but this time we're going to make it uh, 10, maybe. Let's enter. And, yeah, it looks good so far. And let's go to the third one. Same thing. And this one we're going to make 25. All right. Now the fourth one, we're going to make it spread. We're going to make it glow. So we're going to do 40. And let's see what happens there. All right. So it looks like this. Um, uh, 40 seems very low. Let's make it higher. Let's make it glow more a little bit. That looks better. All right. So that's the lightsaber effect. Now what we're going to do is we're going to make a new layer, a solid, and make sure this one is black. So we're going to make this one dark and make sure it's Match, it matches the comp size, so click on make comp size and hit OK. And drag the black solid all the way to the bottom. So it's below every one of them. Alright. Zoom out, cut this a little bit so it matches up. There you go. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to go to the footage of the, uh, the actual footage and then drag it into your comp, which is this little icon right here. And there you go. Let's just cut it down to the part where we had it, which was here. Let's cut it down there. All right, now we're going to take the comp that we just made, which is the effect. And uh, you should see it when you click on it, this little preview, if you can tell. So let's go over there and drag it on top of the footage. And let's cut it down to match it. All right, now what we're going to do is we're going to key out the black by doing so we're going to right click on the on the composition go to blending mode and go to screen in the third box and as you can see now the black is gone and uh, there you go there's lightsaber now for the finishing touch uh, which I'm sure a lot of people I can't be waiting for we're going to go uh, right click and we're going to go to Effect, Color Correction, Color Balance. Now we're going to play around with the colors and you can basically make any color you want. So I'm going to customize mine. I'm just going to make it, I don't know. I'm going to make mine green. Put it more on the uh, yellowish side. Play with the blue balance a little bit. Just make it any color you want. I'm just going to make it all green. Green, green, green. So there you go. That's how it looks like. That's your lightsaber effect. All right. If you have any questions, please ask. Uh, message me or comment on the comment box below. And don't forget to subscribe. And uh, thanks for watching.